We just introduced a bunch of concepts for multiple discrete random variables, or discrete random vectors, and now we will look at the corresponding concepts for multiple random variables with densities, or random vectors with densities, or multiple dimensional random variables, all essentially the same thing. And first, let me give you some notation here involving integrals, multidimensional integrals. So for a function g from rk, some positive integer k, to r, I'm going to use this notation, integral over rk of g of x dx to mean the integral over each for k integrals I'm integrating with respect to x1 through xk. So this is gx1 up to gxk dx1 integrating with respect to all k variables. And usually uh, I'll in definitions and things I'll mean this to be a Lebesgue integral uh, with respect to Lebesgue measure here, and uh, but you can think of it intuitively at least as a Riemann integral. And another notation is, which is very useful for Lebesgue integration. So for some set A, some Borel measurable set A, so this is for A in the Borel sigma algebra on RK. That's the sigma algebra generated by the open sets in RK. We're going to denote by this the integral over all of RK of the indicator function of that set A evaluated at x times the function. So this is using this notation here. But now g of x has become this new function and what the indicator does is it it zeroes out g of x everywhere except for a so that this becomes an integral over this set a. So for example if a was like if we were in R2 say and a was a very nice simple like rectangle or something like that then this would just be the integral, you know, as a, as x1 goes from here to here, and as x2 goes from here to here. So you would just set the limits of integration accordingly. But what happens, uh, so it can happen that A is a super complicated set that such that this resulting function is not Riemann integrable. In fact, I mean, just the fact that we're integrating over R K or or even just R would would make this this not possibly a Riemann integral. But uh, even further, if A is some super complicated set, then just think things the Riemann integral just goes out the window. And the only way to handle it is with the Lebesgue integral. So just a real quick example, even in one dimension of how things can go awry with the Riemann integral, is on the interval from zero to one. If we took G to be the function that is 1 at the rationals and 0 everywhere else, then that function is not Riemann integrable. If you try to write out the Riemann integral, you know, go back to the formal definition, it's not, it doesn't converge. But it is Lebesgue integrable. So now that we have this little notation, we'll use it to define a random vector with a density. So as usual we have some underlying probability space and probability measure space and a random vector x in RD so it's a function to RD has a density so we already know what a random vector is but it has a density oh let's call it, let's give the density a name density f and sometimes we say PDF just like before. 
if the probability that x takes a value in a, in a set a can be written as the integral over a of f of x dx and that's for any for any Borel measurable set a in rd so i'm using this notation here right integrating over this set a so this is a generalization of the previous definition both in terms of the dimension this is a higher dimensional integral and also this is over an arbitrary set a that also holds in the one dimensional case this this is indeed a generalization but the nice thing here i didn't introduce it before cuz it requires this this funny new notation integrating over arbitrary borel measurable sets and before we just remember it was just the integral from minus infinity to to some value to define the the cdf but this this specializes to that special case so this is a good definition oh and i should say I have another qualifier here so that's and 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 f so this f has to be you know it's some function from rd it's non negative and it's a measurable function that technical condition okay so so now that we know what a random vector with a density is or a multiple dimensional random variable with a density a beautiful fact is that basically all of the results for or all of the definitions and the basic results for for discrete random variables extend directly to random variables with densities and i'm going to omit the technical details cuz uh things everything looks just very very similar to the to the discrete case so i'll just i'll just write down the basic results here and you could you could check the the details in a reference so for so first if we have a random vector in rd with density uh with density f then the expected value of a function of that random vector is equal to the integral over all of rd of this oh i need my f here g of x times f of x so you remember this just generalizes the previous result or the earlier result where for a discrete random vector we were summing over all the values that x could take and now we're just the sum just becomes an integral so all we all we do i mean yeah yeah heuristically speaking all we have to do is replace the sum by an integral of course there's more that goes into it uh, and then proving all that and everything but notationally and heuristically we replace sums by integrals and and it's a beautiful fact that everything tends to work out and of course this is when well defined when this integral is well defined in the sense that we talked about earlier so that's one nice fact and so now for uh, let's fix like we did for the discrete case a just a two-dimensional random vector with a joint PDF so right so I didn't so I didn't emphasize this is the this is called the joint density of this random vector this function f on rd so this is the joint PDF this f with joint PDF f so we're going to fix that and we have the following definitions so the marginal is the marginal of x is f of x integral over all of r 
of f of x and y dy and technically I could I should write f subscript x to emphasize that this is the marginal of x but oftentimes people will omit the the subscript here and just write f of x so you just should recognize that this is the marginal of x the conditional and you could do the same thing for y the conditional PDF is written this way f of x given y and it's just equal to the joint PDF divided by the PDF of y so this just looks exactly like the case for PMFs and this is when f of y is strictly positive otherwise we get zero on the bottom and everything's infinite so we can't have an infinite you know that then then things are bad it's undefined and the conditional expectation of x given y we write it the same way and it is naturally enough integral over r in this case since we're just integrating out one we're integrating with respect to just this one dimensional vec uh, variable x this this one dimensional component and the we put the we replace the 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 distribution here with just the conditional pdf dx when this is well defined so since all of these nice properties this sort of algebra for working with well let me let me say back up first say so mention that so even though i just mentioned these for this two dimensional case these type of results generalize very easily to a higher dimensional you know a vector in rd and you would just like here you would to get the marginal on some subset of the random variables you would integrate out all of the other random variables and here you could condition on some subset of the random variables if this was in rd get the, the conditional pdf on the others and here you could do the same thing condition on get the conditional expectation given some of the random variables uh, of some of the random variables given others and so on and so forth and so sometimes because these properties are so similar for PDFs and PMFs people will just write rather than like I've been doing with a lowercase p for a PMF distinguished from a lowercase f for a PDF people will sometimes just write lowercase p to mean both PMFs and PDFs depending on the context.